Welcome back to ZOS Introduction. This is the 17th video in the series. You will learn about the fundamentals of job control language, or JCL, during the session. JCL is a language for describing jobs, also described as units of work, to the operating systems. The operating system allocates its time and space resources among the total number of jobs that has been started by JCL. More specifically, the purpose of JCL is to say which programs to run, using which files or devices. There are specific syntax rules that must be followed when creating a JCL execution file. The chart includes an example of JCL syntax basics. Job, exec, and DD are fundamental JCL reserved words. Column 1 and 2, containing slashes, identifies the statement as a JCL statement. Slash, slash immediately followed by an asterisk, is a JCL comment statement. Slash immediately followed by an asterisk indicates JCL end of data. Slash, slash followed by a blank indicates end of JCL statements. ZOS written application programs include internal file names, which are open for reading and writing during execution. The program hard-coded file names are only names not associated with any physical resources. JCL associates the program file name with physical resources such as disk dataset names or Unix file name. JCLDD, Data Definition Statement, associates the program file name with a physical resource. JCL is used to connect program file name to a ZOS physical resource such as a dataset name, Unix file name, JES spool, printer, network device, and so on. On this page, we show exec PGM equals payroll results in the program having access to file XYZ. The DD statement DSN equals div1.payroll points to the XYZ resource in storage and allows the content to be read by the program. DD is the abbreviation for data definition. XYZ in this example is a program file name. XYZ in this example is also known as the JCL DD name or dataset name. JCL enables ability for the same program to read a different ZOS physical resource without changing the program source code. See how div1 that payroll on the previous slide has been removed and now corp.payroll is now specified. The vast majority of JCL statements are DD statements. Following a JCL execute program statement are numerous JCL DD statements with DD names that are needed by the executing program. Learning JCL is a matter of using existing JCL and making modifications. JCL is not difficult. Learning JCL simply requires repetition in using JCL and reviewing JCL output. Learning JCL is mandatory to be considered an experienced ZOS technician. The chart shows the most common JCL DD parameters associated with ZOS dataset names and Unix file names. The JCL shown here executes program sort, where sort is expecting to find DD statements with DD names of sort in, sort out, sys out, and sysn. While the DD can reference either dataset names 
or Unix file names, the example includes the sort in data records and the sysin data record in the JCL stream. DD asterisk tells the system what follows are data records. DD sysout equal asterisk tells the system to write output to the system controlled JES spool. The reason for using DD asterisk and DD sysout equal asterisk in the example is to simplify JCL execution explanation. Observe that line four through eight are the data records that sort will read from sort and DD name. Observe line 12 is a data record that sort will read form sysn DD name. Line 12 is the sort control statement. The example JCL has one job JCL statement, one execute JCL statement, and four DD JCL statements needed by program sort. Submit on the command line places the JCL and in stream data records in the system input queue for processing. The previous example was a simple in-string JCL demonstrating valid job, exec, and DD JCL statements. Most production JCL relies on JCL procedures, which is reusable JCL. A JCL procedure can be in-string or stored in the JCL procedure library to be located and expanded. The JCL procedure typically includes the program to be executed and required DD names. A user JCL includes a job and execute statement where the execute statement is referencing a JCL procedure instead of a program. Here in the left column is an in-stream JCL procedure, starting at line 3 with the JCL PROC to line 15 with the JCL PEND for PROC END. Line 3 provides name MYPROC as the JCL procedure name. Observe line 17 with the user chosen JCL step name of step 1. That executes MyProc. Observe line 19 with the user chosen JCL step name of step 2. That executes MyProc. However, line 20 is called a JCL procedure overwrite. The second execution of MyProc is passing program sort a different sort control statement by overriding sort1.sysn where sort1 is the JCL procedure step and sysn is the specific DD name associated with sort1. Observe line 23 with the user chosen JCL step name of step 3 that executes myproc. Again, line 24 is a JCL procedure override. The third execution of myproc is passing program sort a different sort control statement by overriding sort1.sysn where sort1 is the JCL procedure step and sysn is the specific DD name associated with sort1. This in-stream JCL procedure is executed three times, each with a different sort control command. The right column is the JCL procedure expanded JCL. Observe the plus plus statements, which are the expanded JCL from, from myproc. Observe plus slash sysn dd asterisk statements after lines 16 and 23. The plus slash indicates this JCL procedure statement was subject to a JCL statement override. The JCL shown in the left column was submitted and executed. 
In the right column, SDSF, which stands for System Display and Search Facility, is used to view the JCL execution output. A question mark to the left of the JCL job output displays a list of all DD names related to the job. The S command, which means select, is available, available to view the sort out results placed in the system JES spool. Observe the DD name column and step name columns in the SDSF display on the right. The step name column shows sort out DD name for step one, sort out DD name for step two, and sort out DD name for step three. This is the result of three executions of the end stream JCL procedure, writing output for each execution of the JCL procedure. The ZOS Internet Library ZOS MVS Bookshelf has the JCL reference and the JCL user's guide documentation. In summary, job, exec, and DD JCL statements are the big three JCL statements. The vast majority of JCL statements are DD statements, which provide the input and output resources needed by a program during execution. Reusable JCL procedures identified by JCL PROC and PROC end statements in JCL procedures libraries are frequently used in production. The journey to learn JCL is a matter of repetition, trial, and error. JCL is not difficult. Learning is a simple matter of practice. JCL is a mandatory ZOS skill to be considered an experienced ZOS technician. Thank you for your time.